this is Artifacts of Mars. And unfortunately, our uh, hyper-leftist press, well, I don't want to call him president, the big old Obama, I refuse to call him president. He uh, has decided on federal maps that Mount McKinley, named after an obscure president, right, uh, is to be changed back to the original Inuit name of Denali. Now, that's not a life-shattering event, but as Michael Savage put it, I didn't get to come up with this myself. It was Michael Savage. Uh, he says that Obama is trying to erase everything white and American. And I agree with Savage. He's right about that. Do -do -do -do. Obama's three-day trip to Alaska this week will literally change the map in the nation's 49th state. Mount McKinley, 27,237-foot mountain, the highest, tallest in North America, has been renamed Denali, as it was originally known by Alaska natives, otherwise known as Inuit. Or it was renamed to honor President William McKinley. The mountain which sits on six million acre Denali National Park has been known as Denali in Alaska since nineteen seventy five. Under an order signed by Interior Secretary Sally Jewell, the Denali name will also take effect for all federal usage and therefore on all official maps. Just lovely. The, this dirt bag lives in the White House is, like Savage said, determined to erase everything that's American and white. I can't believe people put up with him. Why has he not been ejected from office? I don't get it. Uh, and, of course, he took, uh, order to sign Friday, but White House asked that it be announced Monday as part of Obama's trip to Alaska to highlight the effects of climate change in the Arctic, which is bullshit. And the White House said name change recognizes the sacred status of Denali to generations of Alaskan natives. Screw that. We bought that ice box from the Russians. We can name it whatever we want. Denali means great one. There's a real clue. Obama wants to be remembered as the great one by renaming the mountain. This guy cares about legacy. I don't give a flying hoot about uh, legacy myself. Once I'm dust, and dust. Denali meaning the great one in I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Language of Alaska Natives, otherwise known as Inuits, uh, was the original name of the mountain, but when European Americans discovered it in the 19th century, they named it Densmore's Mountain and later Mount McKinley in an effort to boost presidential candidacy for Republican William McKinley. There's the other thing is it was named for a Republican, they don't like that. As Jewel noted in her order, President McKinley never visited, nor did he have any significant historical connection to the mountain or to Alaska. Well, really, did Pat never uh, visit the uh, drive on Interstate uh, 390 uh, here in the Rochester region? <laughs> Part of that highway is named Patman Memorial Highway. Screw that. I'm always going to call it Mount McKinley. These people can go to hell. Obama can burn in hell. Uh, this jewel person can burn in hell. Now, 
The name became official in the Mount McKinley National Park Act in 1917. So it's been almost a century that it's been named Mount McKinley. Screw this. Obama can burn in hell as far as I'm concerned. So can his little uh, lackey. Alaska's been petitioning for name change since 1975, but a bipartisan effort by Ohio's Congressional de delegation has blocked the effort to, by introducing bills requiring that it be renamed after McKinley was born in Nine Miles, Ohio, and buried in Canton. Screw that. It just ticks me off. This is not anything that's earth shattering, but I'll be damned if I'll call it Mount Denali. Not gonna happen, boss. Still Mount McKinley. Screw that. I don't give a damn what the Inuits called it, or whoever the hell they are. Um, I don't give a damn. We bought that icebox from the Russians, so we can name it whatever we want. It's called Seward's Icebox, in case, uh, some of you don't know your history. We bought, bought that frozen wasteland from the Russians. I'm hoping you know that much. I'm Artifacts from Mars. This is today's entry into the mental disorder of liberalism. Thanks for watching.